Hey everyone, it's my Yatu and welcome to the Dream Factory where we put Superstar against each other who've never faced off before or haven't in a very long time. Could be from any organisation ever. And if there's someone you want to see, leave a comment below and it may come up one week. This week it is Keiji Muto vs Randy Orton, it's the RKO vs the Shining Wizard. Two moves you can pretty much hit out of nowhere. Um, and I thought this would be a brilliant match to see in real life. Uh, you can see Muto covering the Shining Wizard out of nowhere, uh, getting countered in the RKO, Orton going for the RKO, or, but getting his knee ch knocked down by a drop kick, and Shining Wizard out of nowhere. It'd be an awesome matchup. I decided to use the ROH Arena for 5 Pro Wrestling Returns. I don't know why I get so many comments every video saying, What game is this? What game is this? I see it in every video and it's in the description. Jeez. Um, it's on the PS2, basically what I did was I bought an action replay um, Max drive, whatever, with a USB stick. I downloaded the file that, which had all these templates with Randy Orton and Muto etc. From Japan, Legends, from America and Europe even. It was a great list, over 500 wrestlers you can have on one thing. Uh, so I downloaded them and I have it on my PS2. I also have a lot of Japanese wrestling games I'm buying, and eventually I'll be showing you guys that. I may even show it on a live stream. I know I have the worst internet in the world, but I can at least do a standard definition live streams. Um, I think I could pull off 360p. If not, you'll get 240p. It's not terrible, but I mean, it's better than reading a newspaper. I mean, who does that nowadays? Meh. Anyway, Keiji Muto is the King of the Shining Wizard. The Shining Wizard itself is not a relatively old move. Um, it's just, what, 15 years old, if that? It was about 2000 or something like that when we first started doing it. Of course, the RKO isn't Orton's move, it's an ace crusher, which John Laurinaitis invented. Yes, that raspy voice that's on Raw, that isn't mine! Oh my god! Oh, high knee! No, that's not the Shining Wizard, it's just a high knee. Sort of like the Bizarro knee kick that Kenta does. And you'll know when you see the Shining Wizard, believe me. Um, it's been in the Smackdown games for years, but it's the wrong variation. Um, it's what Hurricane Helms, Shane Helms, Gregory Helms, did as his finisher in WWE. It's nothing like the proper Shining Wizard, um, which were in old Smackdown games. There was about 10, 12 variations of it at one point. Uh, because they had one way that was standing, there's a, there was a double team variation. You had at least three on the ground, and two, three running versions, and it was it was a great move. But it has been in the game, and I keep asking this: if there's one move that has to be in the game next year, THQ, it has to be um, the Shining Wizard. More variations of it, it would make a great move, especially in the corner position. That'd be perfect to combo with, like, the punt. I mean, they have more moves in the corner, because right now you only have the punt, the spear, and the sweet chin music. You could have the Shining Wizard in that corner position. Of course, you would need the Starship Pain in that corner position. You could have the Vader Bomb in that position. I mean, the Splash, that's kind of like a Banzai drop, but it's a Swagger Bomb sort of thing. And they could have that in, the cor in that corner position. Obviously, they'd have to be nearer. The corner of that move, they couldn't be the opposite end of the ring if you want to do it with the swagger bomb, honestly. Oh, Dragon School Leg Whip, famous trademark of Keiji Muto. I think he was going to go for the power elbow, but unfortunately that wasn't enough. Why am I doing this commentary for. Oh no, he's going for the hands being back elbow with no one there. Orton dodged that a bit too early. I mean, if the, you want ring psychology, you have to do it at the last second, honestly. Hey, about take over. Orton was the king of, like, the chin lock for years. He would hold onto a chin lock for literally two, three minutes. Wouldn't let go. Just honing his craft. He doesn't really do it nowadays. Uh, but he's had some great matches in the past. Uh, Iron Man match with John Cena. I know. Yes, any John Cena match is surprisingly bad. Not all. Oh, victory roll roll through. Oh, not even a one count. Got to do more damage. Oh, the headlock takedown holding on to the holder when. I went again. So it's me doing a quarter to six in the morning. I'm stupid. Backdrop suit. No, Bulldog counter. Brilliant counter by Orton. That's kind of like a trademark to Muto as well. He likes to do the Bulldog after handspring elbow. Dragging across so he doesn't get near the ropes. Only a one count. 
you should definitely pick up Fire Pro if you can. Um, in America, it's fairly easy to get. In Europe, it's a pain in the ass. Um, copies can sell to nearly a hundred quid um, on eBay for a PAL version. So, best of luck trying that. Uh, oh, doing the stomps. Trademark of Autumn as well. It's surprising how realistic a 2D animation of Autumn looks like. Big back body drop. And a kick. It's not the punt. Well, I think they may have been called the punt for this variation because they didn't have the proper move in the game. Surprisingly, Kenta started using the punt um, after Autumn used it. Just normal Kenta. Kenta then invents and they go to sleep. Autumn running off is going to do. Larietto! Oh, he's not done yet. Larietto! What the hell is he? Kenta Kabashi? No. Two. Two can fall. Come on, the American superstars can't do. Especially to be a Lariat, unless it's JBL. Or Batista, when he was younger. Uh, unless you're Stan Hansen, you just don't do a Lariat as a finisher. Oh, throwing him to ringside. Oh, that's cheeky taunting at him. Come on, he's the wizard master. Oh, big elbow. Big drop kick. Oh, beautiful. And they're both down. Come on, Muto. Come on. Muto, Muto. They have a 20 count to get out. That's the drop kick to the knee. But you can combo into the Shining Wizard in real life. That's normally how he does it. Or when they're about to get up, he would perform it out of nowhere. There is an Enzigiri version of it. Um, an Enzi Shining Wizard. When you hit them in the back, you do it. It's kind of like a reverse Shining Wizard. Quite a good move. Suplex. Oh, good suplex. In Japan, that is just called a regular Brain Buster. Um, oh, go for an Arm Breaker. Step over Armbar. Cross Arm Breaker. Dragon screw one more time, screwing up the leg. Oh, he's feeling it. Going for the pin. Classic. One. Jeez, Orton, you don't want to do some, some psychology? Come on, two count. Two count. Big backdrop driver. Oh, good. Going for the cross arm breaker again. No, he's not going to give up, though. It's not Alberto there we are. Drop kick to the knee once more. He's screwing up that leg. A figure four may do it. Big bulldog. There we go. That's what you want. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, I tried to go for the knee once too often, I think. But he's still got control of it, holding him down, dragging him in the corner. The AI likes to do that a lot in Fire Pro. Dragging him right into the middle of the ring. Oh, punch, 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 punch. Five punches, picking him up. Going in the back. Oh, punching in the back of the head. Submission move. Just barbaric, isn't it? And again on the head. Oh, he's taunting the... It could call the end right now. Go on. Punch again. That's just going to piss him off. RKO! RKO out of nowhere. RKO out of nowhere. It's over. No, again. RKO out of nowhere. Keiji Muto no sold the first one. Can he kick out of the second one? Come on, Keiji. One. Two. Oh, three count four. The RKO master. The apex predator. The legend killer. Took out another legend with the RKO. Yes, it's called the RKO, even in Fire Pro. How cool is that? Alright guys, leave a comment, leave a like, and who do you want to see next?